Today we're going to take a look at how to do ADA Braille on the Chotec ADA material. For this video, we're just going to concentrate on actually putting in the Braille beads. Today we're going to use our Vision 1624 Rotary Engraver. We're the official distributor for Vision in Canada. Anytime we want to do Braille compliant signs, we use a Vision system. We're also going to use the Accent system for placing beads in the material. The Accent Braille system is patented and therefore you need a license to use it. Totec Laser Canada is the official distributor for Accent Sign Systems in Canada. Our first step is to take our ADA compliant material and we're going to place it in the machine. You notice that I've got our special adhesive. It's a silicone based material that, that allows us to place the material on top and gives us good shearing action so the material will not come off. This allows us not to have to use a clamp or a graver staple tape. I'm going to take this, I'm going to set it up in the corner. I'm using an 8x8 sign and I'm going to stick it up in the corner and then put it down. You'll notice that as I push on it, it actually will not move. But it's actually fairly easy to remove off the material if we want to remove it. Okay, so all I really need to do is just place this in the corner. It's at 8x8. Place it down and it's ready to go. Our first step is to actually place in our braille cutter. You'll notice that this is a parallel cutter and it's specifically sized so that it fits our beads exactly. Our first step that we have to do is actually place the cutter in to the spindle. I've placed my micrometer at zero. We call this a zero position. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place the cutter in and level off the cutter to the nose cone. First thing I'm gonna do is I, I always put my finger close to the threads. That way when I put my cutter in, I don't actually catch the, the cutter on the threads of the spindle as I'm setting it in. These cutters are solid carbide. They can chip very easy. They can chip actually just hitting the, hitting the threads as you put it in. So you wanna be very careful when you put the cutter in the spindle. I'm gonna place the cutter in. I'm gonna to touch my, the cutter against my finger. It allows me to place the cutter down through the shaft without catching the threads. And I'm gonna come down. It's a reverse thread. I'm gonna spin this down till it comes tight. The cutter's sticking through a little bit. I'm gonna take my cutter wrench and I'm going to use the nut. Loosen the nut off here. Remember this nut is a hex nut. It's not an Allen wrench, so it's a special wrench. So I'm going to loosen this off and I'm gonna raise up the cutter and the Tighten it up, and I'm going to be ready for zero. What I need to do is bring the spindle over top of the material, and then I'm going to lower the spindle down to the material. I want to bring it down until I touch the material, and if you notice here, I'm starting to get some gap, which means that the nose cone is resting on the material. My next step, my, my micrometer is at zero. I want to make sure that I'm going to loosen off my set screw. So now my, my cutter flows easily inside the brass nut. Now I don't want to drop this down in the material, I actually want to set it down in the material. If you drop it down, you could actually go into the material, which then will, will cause issues with your depth setting. So I want to set the, set the cutter down on the material. Now what happens is the cutter is level with the nose cone. I'm going to tighten up the set screw nut here. And then if I bring up my, my spindle, my cutter is now level with the nose cone. And if I dial my micrometer counterclockwise, this raises the, the, my, the micrometer nose cone up, which then exposes the cutter as it raises up. And each turn of the micrometer, each graduation here in the micrometer is a one thousandth of an inch. So that's one thou, two thou, three thou, four thou, and you'll notice here you'll see a five, it's five thou, a full turn is twenty-five thousandths of an inch. I'm gonna leave it at zero for now. This is the Braille Accent Inserter, and when you purchase the Accent License, you actually get an inserter pen with the license. So you notice here with this is the Accent Inserter pen, when you purchase the Vision Inserter Kit, you're getting the Braille holder, that fits onto the spindle. You're also getting the solid ring here that fits into the hole on the inserter and also a locking ring. This allows this to fit directly right into the actual holder 
and then this basically fits down inside the pin. So what we want to do there, again, is we want to lower the Z down. And then what you're going to do is you're going to say, uh, you're going to say set surface. And it's going to ask us to say press enter to set. I'm going to press enter on the pendant. And we're all set and ready to go. I'm going to raise this, I'm going to raise this up so we're out of the way. I'm going to tighten this up. And I'm going to say, go to home. Before I start to do engraving, I'm going to actually set my cutter to the proper depth. So again, as I mentioned, I need to turn this 42 thou. So there's zero. So I need to go one full turn. So there's 15, 20. Back to zero is 25. And I need to go 42 thou in the material. So I need to go another 15, which makes it 40 and then another two. Okay, and now I'm set for my actual engraving depth. My cutter is actually sticking out past the nose cone, 42 thou. So when I come out, the nose cone will sit on top of the material, and because the cutter is sticking out 42 thou, it'll go into the material 42 thou. On my screen, I've set up my eight by eight plate, and I've got my, I've got my braille cells set up here right now. All I need to do now is to go engrave ADA plot, I'm going to say cut braille text. I have my vacuum set up. I have the box sensor set up. I've got my spindle going. I've got my braille set up. And I'm going to do my engraving. I go engrave. I come over to my pendant. It says press start to go. So I'm going to go start. So I set my braille text here up on the screen. My next step is to go engrave, ADA plot, cut braille text. There's my braille text in the preview window. I've got my vacuum on, my proc sensor is on, my spindle's on, my braille is on, and then I'm gonna basically click engrave. Let's press start to go. I press start. So now my, my pendant says, please lower the brailles inserter down and press start. I'm gonna lower my braille inserter down. And make sure your, the, the pin here is in the hole. And then we're gonna tighten this up. And then all I'm gonna do now is press start. And the balls basically what's happening here is the balls are being pressed into the holes that we're actually creating. So the, the beads are, you're, the hole we're going down is about 42 thou. The beads are a little bit smaller than, than 84 thou in total height. And we're just using a pressure fit to place the ball in. So when you're done, basically you're just going to loosen this off, raise this back up again. You can hit the go to home button. Press start, and the machine goes back to home, and then we can take our piece off and then, and then start over again. So there's your finished piece right there. We've used a clear bead so you can actually see the color of the blue shines through. Thanks for watching our YouTube video on how to make braille signage. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment field below. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel.